Hello everyone, this is one of my first video updates in 2020. I'm ill and couldn't have made videos during the week, but felt something at least a short video would do just to show that I'm still alive. I'd also like to mention and thank my friend at Spaceship Mania YouTube channel who sent me this really nice model of Starship. Many of you ask me, where did I get the Starship model? Well, that's your answer. So if you can please subscribe to his channel as he really makes nice models of starships across the universe and but also SpaceX stuff. Starship SN1 is progressing fast. Work on Starship SN2 will also start in conjunction with a Starship SN1. Elon Musk tweeted recently that work on Starship 2 could start this month. An increased activity at SpaceX Boca Chica facility indicates SpaceX is trying to catch up with internally defined schedule, which could include two starships, SN1 and SN2, being tested this year. One for suborbital and the other for orbital tests. Uh, don't hold me to this. This is just one of my speculations. Sorry for my voice. SpaceX South Texas Starship team has been making a rapid progress moving full speed ahead to kick off a new series of explosive tests, starting with one earlier today. Ever since SpaceX original Starship M1 prototypes spectacularly failed during the November 2019 pressure test, the company has been rapidly rearranging and modifying the development schedule for next generation fully reusable rockets. Coincidence or not, Virgin Trains plans to open new route blocking SpaceX's ability to test Starship out of their Florida Aquar facility. SpaceX started to move all its production and assembly facilities from SpaceX Florida to SpaceX Texas at Boca Chica, where a combined team is now rushing ahead to complete the first mass rocket SpaceX plans to test in coming months and years. However, don't worry about Florida just yet. SpaceX is building an impressive facility at Kennedy Space Center that will rival Blue Origins and even perhaps NASA. At least 30% of the staff currently in Florida will be transferred by 2022, when Roberts Road SpaceX facility becomes operational. In meantime, SpaceX is aggressively expanding its Boca Chica facility with construction of several hangars and additional launch and landing pads. SpaceX has rapidly initiated an already planned upgrade of its Starship facility and manufacturing methods in South Texas, taking delivery of wealth of new tools over the last several weeks. The facility will eventually be large enough to perhaps build all future Starships there, with perhaps only super heavy boosters being built at Roberts Road. Again, this is only a speculation on my part. Both teams at Cocoa and Boca Chica are based at Boca Chica facility, Influx of highly skilled SpaceX workers from Florida. So it's logical to conclude this is where all Starships will be built in in future and where all future SpaceX engineers will be trained and so on. Elon Musk is pushing for a tough schedule, scheduled sea construction of SN1 completed within the next two months. Number of parts are being moved from Cocoa facility in Florida every week to speed up the process at Boca Chica indicating SpaceX will speed up the process of building Starship SN1. And eventually, once the parts for SN2 start to arrive in bulk, that as well will speed up. SpaceX started to work on December 27th on the first Starship SN1. This is when Elon Musk tweeted from the construction site, indicating SpaceX was working on a Starship tank dome production. More parts are coming daily, with letters being large cylindrical tank being towed to SpaceX facility. It is a stainless steel test tank SpaceX has tested earlier today, with clear results to be seen. SpaceX is also rapidly churning out Raptor engines with SN20 schedule for completion this or following week. Starship is powered by six Raptor engines, three of which are rocket vacuum engines. The pace at which SpaceX is working, especially on Starship, can only be described as visionary. Elon Musk has vision and he wants to fulfill this vision as soon as possible. If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you.